Uh, yeah, that was the, the thought going into practice. I haven't talked to the trainers after, um, but the thought is that all three will return. Uh, what, what do you like about uh, Zaitsev Zeit, uh, and Shabbat together, if that's uh, the way you go? Well, we haven't decided officially, but, um, you know, I think it allows Shabby, um, you know, to play um, him and Z both can play against anyone. I think Shabby's defending has improved significantly here in the in the last little bit, um, you know, in the defensive side. Then it also allows us the ability to put Brandy on the offensive side for some face-offs, so we can do more things. Um, you know, unfortunately for Z, and, and, and people don't talk about it probably enough, is that he gets a, a ton of defensive zone starts, and he's going to continue to do that. Um, um, but uh, on the defensive side, Chappie can get a few more starts. And I'll, I'll ask the, the usual update. Anything new on, on Josh Norris that you can uh, pass along to Nothing new. Um, obviously, um, you know, uh, it's not going to be quick, it doesn't look like, but uh, nothing new. I think we should have an update here shortly, but, uh, um, you know, Watching him and Drake both sit in the crowd there kind of hurts, um, but we'll just move on. DJ, what can you reasonably expect from those three guys returning from practice? You know, if they get into tomorrow, uh, sorry, returning from injury, if they get into tomorrow, obviously you're missing so many weeks because of injury, and then also you add another four or five days because of the All Star break. Well, the All Star break probably helps them because they're able to skate, um, you know, one day earlier, and and they could stay a day later. Um, so when the other guys aren't skating, they're skating. So that hopefully helps them. But at the end of the day, you got to play. So, you know, um, I thought Gambrell was really playing well um, until he got hurt there. Uh, and we had a really good line of uh, him, Watson, and, and Sandy. I could play against anyone. Um, it allows me to put Nick Paul at center. Um, so let's hope he, get, you know, hits the ground running and right back to where he was. With uh, Norris and Bapperson now, how much uh, of a benefit offensively is it to get Connor Brown back? Well, it's huge, especially a right shot, a guy that can play in all situations. Um, you know, Connor is one of our leading uh, point getters, but also a guy that can play everywhere, can play on any line, can play at the end of periods, and, um, you know, it's going to help us tremendously. Obviously, you know, in that back-to-back -back in New York, um, you know, we didn't have enough guys, in my opinion, going, and, and, and Connor's a guy that could move around and, and give us better options. Uh, how little will you practice in these last four years? <laughs> yeah, like... You know, today I really wanted to go hard just to get our guys back going, but you're playing a back-to-back. -back. So, I mean, you got to be smart. Uh, you got to get done what you got to get done. But also, um, a lot of what we're going to see is going to be in the games. And we're going to have to do a lot of teaching on, on video systems-wise. But at the end of the day, it's good for the guys, especially the young guys. They get to play. Uh, you make a mistake, you turn around the next day, and, and you go again. Like, even this week, you got – Back two back to backs. I can't yeah. remember the last time that I can uh, that I seen you know two back to backs. So you really got to be careful. As much as you haven't practiced and you want to practice, um, you know rest is 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 going to be huge for us with this many games, and you and you're going to have to take care of yourself. Just on follow up on Matt and Connor Brown, is he just a smart player? Yeah, you know what? The thing about Connor is he he's led. I th you know he led the Marlies in scoring. He led the OHL, I believe, in scoring. He's also been a checker. He's been on the fourth line in Toronto when the games are on the line. So he's played in all situations, and he respects that, um, you know, what those guys do, the guys that don't play a lot of minutes, and then also respects the fact that when he gets an opportunity to play on the top line. So um, he's a guy that's come full circle in the NHL, um, and, and like I said, he could play on any line. He, he could play on a great third line. He could also play up with the, the best players in the league. Has Gam Gambrell been a bit of a pleasant surprise for you? For sure he has. Great attitude. Um, always smile on his face. Just goes to work. Um, you know, above the puck kind of guy that coaches like. Um, you know, responsible. Um, you know, you try and push him for a little more offense here and there when he gets his opportunities. Um, but you know what, I think he's comfortable here and he's, and he's done, you know, everything we've asked of him. Well, before I've heard Brady's okay, but I mean that could that could change. I mean it's minute to minute with this. Um, you know, we only have a few guys left, so at some point, you assume it'll probably happen. But you know, it'll only be five days, and we move on. So Alex Warmington's asserted himself here. I don't know if like physically he's bigger year over year, but do you find he plays bigger and he's kind of getting more more confident, like he puts himself in someone. Yeah, he has more swagger. You just see it in practice. You know, he he makes plays. He's not worried about. The opinion of the coach or the you know if he makes a mistake he, he, he 
to me, he, he's arrived in the NHL and he knows, and now it's just his details and his consistency and doing all these things. He knows he's an NHL player. And, and, and when you, when that light goes on, now it's how good can you be in the league? And, and I think he can be really good. Brady should play ball, coach. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You, you hit game 41 tomorrow, which you know, kind of the halfway point. Are, are, are there some specific things you'd like to see out of your group in, in the back half of this season? Well, continue to keep the goals against down has got to be something. I mean, that's that's how we're going to win games. I mean, with all the guys that we have out in the offense that's not in the lineup right now, you're going to have to check your way to this. And that's going to help us going forward. I mean, at some point, the goal would be I want everyone back. You'd like to see what our re, you know our, our team looks like going forward with Pinto, with Batherson, with Norris. Um, you know, eight games, ten games. You'd love to just see uh, what it looks like with, with all those guys back.